Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Twin Flame Freedom. Today I'm doing a card reading for you guys using the, for you and myself, using the Rumi Oracle card deck. So uh, yeah, I've pre-shuffled these cards and we're just going to do a reading to move through the emotions that are on our heart right now and to take us deeper into healing on our Twin Flame journey. So the first card that we have here is the human gift. Hmm. So what I'm getting from this card is this could be what you're seeing right now within yourself. This could be how you're feeling and uh, you're not a victim and you have the power to uh, let go of any darkness and heaviness that you are experiencing. You have the power to shift and change and create a new reality. And you're being invited out of that place uh, with, by your higher self, by God, by the divine, by source. And it's a matter of your own choice to uh, let go of resistance, to let go of control, and to choose love, and to choose to let go of the ego game because it doesn't serve you. You must open up and connect with your true self and share your feelings and really discover what the truth is of the situation that you're going through and that truth is always in alignment with love. So yes, it's important to always choose love no matter what you're going through. If you're not a victim and darkness doesn't have a hold on you, don't give it that power. Sacred soul sister. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, got a lot of red here, a lot of passion, a lot of love. And, uh, sacred soul sister. So what I'm getting from this card is, like, there's, you've always got a guide that, that will, that will guide you towards God. You've always got someone who loves you and who cares for you and will like invite you into love and towards your and deep in your twin flame union you're certainly not alone on this journey there is so much power and so much love inviting you out of your separation and the love is beyond comprehension it is so powerful. It is so divine. It is so grand. And just be open to that love and that guidance. Choose to follow that love and that guidance because it's worth it. You're not alone. Again, only love matters. And go where love is calling you. Right? That's what I get from a soul sister. It's like, a deep bond of eternal love and commitment to loving each other. So you have that in your life. You have someone that commits to you and that desires you to thrive. You're not doing this alone, this journey alone. Good. So the next card we have is, yeah, this is all the same, very red energies, passion for purpose. What do you care about, first and foremost? Do you care about thriving? Do you care about uh, transcending ego, transcending death, living as your true divine self? Is that what you're passionate about? You must put that first in your life. You must let go of ego. You must desire that first and foremost to move to ascend and to harmonize with your twin flame because harmonizing with your twin flame is in alignment with like divinity are you passionate about love are you passionate about ascending are you passionate about healing are you passionate about finding your one true love which is loving yourself 
you're being invited to always put love first, no matter what. Blessing of Zara. So what I'm getting from this card is you are blessed for the commitment that you've had to love. And there is a higher power working with you and for you to help you through whatever you're going through right now. And you can really see, you know, there's blues and there's purples and there's greens, there's high chakras, that's divine energy supporting you spiritually at this time and she's clearly she's clearly expanding and ascending just based on her posture and her hair and moving forward and upwards and that and and feeling her heart space so you've you've cleared the block and you're ascending and you're being fully supported in this uh ascension and healing on your twin flame journey Good, so I'm probably feeling two more cards. Oof. Celestial Rose of Ma. Wow. That is some power right there. Some deep love. That's who you are. Your deep passion for love at your core. Your deep passion for love. Finding love no matter what in every moment at its full depth. That's who you are. That's what you know. And this card is just simply mirroring to you what you know about your true divine self. The capabilities and power of your true divine self are being represented by this card. And when I'm speaking about you, I'm speaking about you and your twin flame because you're one with them. You are uh, equally passionate and powerful divine beings, you and your twin flame. And together, you are even more powerful. And by healing your separation, as you come together and partner, your power multiplies exponentially. So, yeah, like, this is who you are. Deep, divine, powerful passion for love. Commit to that truth and, and enjoy being that passion about love and about life. Because you love that. Don't, like, settle. Don't go back into the hidey hole. Be passionate about love and passionate about life. And the final card I'm pulling from the bottom of the card deck, which is the overall energy and message of the card reading. And it's Alaza Star of Venus. So this is clearly a woman who has found, or is like, Connecting with her true divine self, who is seeing herself and nurturing herself as her true divine self. Look at that divinity uh, represented in her dress. That what she, that's what she knows about herself, right? And this card is just grounding us back down into our divinity and our truth that we are pure, we are divine, we are beautiful, and we are peaceful and perfectly present and powerful and like that's the truth of who we are at the core and that's the priority that's in our life and what we should always put first in our life so yeah uh, allow that essence to always be at the core of who you are and let go of any other bullshit that uh, comes up in your mind or let go of any ego that invites you towards death that invites you towards not loving love is your core essence and it's the core of everything good so yeah that 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 card reading and that like moving through that energy through this card reading really helps me uh heal my own block that i'm going through right now uh, I can see clear, clearer that uh, I don't need to uh, sit in an upset, sit in ego because it doesn't serve me and sit in an upset with my twin flame, it doesn't serve me and uh, it's going to be there until I make any choice to uh, let it go.
right? So, uh, I may as well just accept that I'm divine and move forward with that. Same with you and your twin flame. And your twin flame journey. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for receiving uh, the divine message that I channeled for you and your twin flames today. And thanks for healing and committing on your twin flame journey. I love you very much and I appreciate your commitment to love. And uh, my name is Carmel. If you didn't know, I am a certified ascension coach for Twin Flames Universe. And I, I know the work to guide you into union with your twin flame. I can help you. I've been through the blocks and I can guide you into union. So check out my services in the description box below because I'd love to work with you and help you heal. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bless your union. Have a great day. Bye.